Edge Squad. Welcome back to sort of Is It Worth It? So today's episode, we got this cool item right here. And basically what this is, it's like a chopper knife or a butcher knife that you can use for like chopping meat, chopping seafood or anything else. And you can see for the one that we got right here is a brand called Buffalo Cookware. And you gotta remember in the past, I have used a few other ones from this brand before, but this is a different type of knife. If you see it on the side right here, they do tell you guys what kind of knife it is. So it is a chopper knife that's 6.5 inch. And then right here in the back, they do probably got some specs and feature about the bottom as well. So this is what the package looks like when you guys first get in. Let me just open up to show you guys what the inside looks like. So once you guys do open up, here is basically what the looks like. So I see how the part is all well protected. But let's take it out. So once you guys do take it out, here is basically what the looks like. And you see on the product, they do have the brand logo. And the way how they designed the knife is actually very similar to the other one that I've used in the past. They do give you guys a very nice handle if you had to grip it really easily when you guys do use it. And when you guys do feel the overall weight of the product, it definitely feels like a high quality knife. It definitely has a little bit of weight to it, but it's not like super heavy compared to your normal butcher knife or chopper knife. And when you guys look at it from this angle, and you see how sharp the knife is. Let me actually do a quick demo to show you guys how sharp the knife is when you guys do use it. Alright, so let's see how sharp the knife is when you guys do use it. But the way how they design this knife is not really for you guys for slicing stuff. It's mainly for you guys to chop stuff that's actually really hard. Maybe like chicken bone or like seafood, like fish. Basically anything that a regular like Santoko knife or a regular knife in general cannot use for chopping stuff. That is basically where one is actually comes in handy. But like I mentioned, if you guys seen my previous video, I actually viewed another knife from this brand, which is basically the Santoko knife and the seven inch butcher knife. The butcher knife is actually very similar to this one, but basically for the butcher knife allow you guys to use for chopping stuff and slicing stuff, but everything in terms of the material and design is actually very similar if you can see, like even when you guys do feel it, it does feel like a high quality material. But here is basically what the knife looks like on this side, and here is other side, and then for this part here they do give you guys a very nice material that's like non-slip material, they give you guys a very good grip when you guys do hold it and grip it. And for the material that they use on here, they mention how it is rust resistant, same as any of the other knives that's from this brand as well. But even if they do mention how it is rust resistant, I do recommend that every time when you guys finish washing it, you still want to wipe it down to prevent any rust, just in case. But here is basically what the product looks like. Now I'm just going to test this out to show you guys how well it works, and then we'll come back and talk more about it in a second. Alright, so right here we do have the knife, and right here we do the cutting board from the same exact brand. So what I'm doing right now is cut some onion to show you guys how well the product works. So guys do test it out. And you see when you guys do slice on here, it doesn't really work too well because it's mainly designed for you guys to use it as a chopping knife. So if you guys want to slice stuff, you probably want to get this knife from the same exact brand which is Santoko knife. So we go like this. You can see how much better it works. But once you guys get to somewhere like this, you guys can definitely use the chopper option and chop it. So just like this. And you see how well the product works when you guys do use a chopper knife. Let's continue chopping the onion to show you guys how it works. So you see, when I do use the product, it doesn't really work too well if you guys use it for cutting onions. But if you guys use it for like cutting meat or seafood, something that has bone in it, that is basically where this actually comes in handy. But if you guys do slice something like onion or something, you probably want to use a Santoko knife like this one. So just like this. And see how much easier it is for you guys to use a Santoko knife versus a chopping knife. And obviously the reason why they call it a chopper knife is for you guys to chop stuff. So let's say for example, if I want to chop this onion right here, and see how well the product works if you guys do use a chopper knife. So that is basically what the knife looks like if you guys were to use it at chopping stuff. Welcome back guys. So now that's a quick test the product, it definitely actually does work and actually works quite well. And you see how when we use a product for chopping stuff, it's actually very easy and very simple. So whether if you guys want to use it for cutting chicken, cutting seafood, like fish or anything else, how you guys want to use it, that is totally up to you guys. But that is basically everything that's on the product. Now to go unboxing and test the product, now to answer the question of whether or not it's worth or not. So for this knife, I do have to say that it's pretty worth it if you guys want to need one of these, especially if you guys are in the market looking for a high quality knife that allow you guys to mainly chop stuff, but also give you guys the option to slice stuff as well, then I do have to say that it's pretty worth it. But then obviously for those of you guys who don't want or don't need one or happy one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else that you actually do need. So that's basically everything for this video itself. If you guys like this video, make sure to smash that like button in the bottom. That will definitely help this video out. And it will definitely help with the algorithm as well to promote more videos for you guys so you guys can see more of the videos or similar videos as well. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace.